Hello guys, me hit this Jordan and I am back on another video. So as y'all can see by the title, I have finally reached my two year mark. This video is low-key like two years and a month because I'm hecka late recording this video, but it's two years, y'all get the picture. If y'all haven't seen my two year dreadlock hair growth time lapse, uh, go check it out. It's gonna be right here and it's gonna be linked down below in the description. It's just the time lapse of my hair and the growth that I've had since I've started my locks till now. So go check that out because um, I know some of y'all like to see stuff like that and like seeing like the progression and how long it takes to get to a certain length or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's there for y'all to watch. But yeah, go check that out either right now or after you watch this video. But yeah, we are finally in the two year lock game. It feels great. Uh, it, honestly, time has went by so fast. I know everybody say that on here, but honestly, I don't know why, but with locks, it feels like time goes by faster because it's like, you're not doing something to your hair like every other week or every other two weeks. You're doing something to your hair every like month or two months. So it's like that time feels like it goes by faster because it's like you're not really washing your hair as much. At the beginning, you're like, oh yeah, I want myself to lock up real quick. It's gonna be growing and long and everything like that. But after a while, you get kind of used to the timing of it and the, and the growth of it. So I, I'm honestly like, I love my growth so far. Um, Y'all can't tell in this video, but my locks are like almost or at my shoulders right now I just have a hat on and they're in two shirt and twist right now The time this video shows you how long they are now as far as like the health of my locks over time um, I haven't really seen any bad things with my locks happen like no thinning no buildup No um, dry locks no locks that are falling off. I haven't seen any of that uh, I think it's because I take really good care of my lock. I'm taking care of my hair but I'm letting it do a thing as well because you don't really want to manipulate your hair too much especially locks because that's when you start seeing thinning and other lock issues that come up from too much manipulation. As far as thinning, I did have a thin lock. I did have a thinning lock. I had a thin lock that I did combine. I think I combined two thin locks some time ago. Um, I probably made a video about it. I don't even remember at this point. I think I did, but they weren't thinning. The locks that I combined weren't thinning. They were thin, like they were just off rip thin. So I was like, I wanted to combine it with other locks so that they didn't have any issues in the future because um, thin locks aren't bad. It's just like, if your lock is heavier, it has a better chance of falling off because the root is not able to hold the weight of the actual lock. So that's why I combined it. As far as styling, I think I mentioned this before in another video. When I style, I keep in mind like what I had just did previously. If I just took bare twists down and washed my hair and retwisted it, I might put them in two strand twists or I might just leave it out. Your hair needs to breathe every once in a while. You don't need to put it in a style every time you get a retwist. I made sure I limited the amount of tight styles on my hair because that's when also thinning can happen because styles are super tight, they can break up your hair. That's when you have these little ugly little thinning locks that you have to either get rid of or try to fix. Or that, It was just a whole mess that I wanted to avoid off rip. As my locks get longer, I do want to start trying some headwear for my locks. I know you've seen like hats and scarves and turbans and stuff like that. I low-key want to try some of that stuff now. Uh, I want my hair to get a little bit longer, but it's getting to the point where by the end of this year to next year, my hair will be at a pretty decent length where I can start wearing more headwear. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably have a video coming out soon about different hair wear you can wear with locks. If there was one thing that I regret about high top locks is the fact that it's just high top locks. It's not like my whole head. And the only reason I regret that is because if you have high top locks, your hair looks shorter than it would if you had a full head lock. So like, if I, I don't have hair like right here, like this is not, there's no hair right there. But if I had hair there, my locks that were like gonna be right here would have been like right here by now. But I mean, I love my locks. I mean, that's the only thing I regret, but at the end of the day, I still love my locks. I wouldn't trade them for anything. Um, maybe in the future, like way in the future, I might cut my locks off and regrow them for a full head. But if you have high top locks, trust me, like it's not something to say, oh, I regret this completely because I still love my locks. Like I still love how they look. I still love how they grow. I love the styles I can do with them because like I feel like the style just fits my head honestly. If you want full head locks, go full head locks. If you want hot top locks, go hot top locks. Both are dope, so that's that's my advice. Is do do you. I want to say a special thanks to all my OG subscribers for sticking in here for uh, two years because my lock and my YouTube anniversary is the same time. So I want to say thank you to those and to my new subscribers as well that have just come in this past year alone. I think just this year I've gained like 6,000 subscribers. So that's pretty dope. So all my new ones as well that's here rocking with me. Um, I got a lot more content coming out soon. Let me know down below in the comments what type of videos y'all want to see because I have a lot of videos in mind, a lot of videos recorded, and a lot of video ideas planned. But I want to know what y'all want to see. So I know y'all have been getting on me about this Hydra Main, and trust me, I have been doing everything I can to get this out to y'all. But all the supplies I needed have finally got to me. One of the companies was BSing me and it was making me mad, but they finally got back to me and got me what I needed. Hydra Main is coming out this month, the month of September. I promise you it was coming out this month. I have everything I need. I just need to you know, do it now. 
Um, so keep a lookout for that. Go follow JS Lockspot on Instagram. I'll be posting on there when I drop Hydroman again, so be on the lookout for that. Hey, I just posted my first workout video because I know some of y'all in here like to work out or even just want to start working out. Um, and I posted my first ab workout video with my friend Alara. So please go check that out. I put some dope ab exercises in there. So I know some of y'all gained them quarantine pounds because I did tell myself, but um, I got more workout videos coming soon too because I really want to incorporate that more into my channel. We sitting at like 7.5, 7.6K right now. I really, really would love to get to 10K right now. So if y'all can do what y'all can and get me there because y'all have been going crazy with the numbers already. Like. I'm already at 7k in two years. That's, that's big for me. Like, I don't care. I'm, I'm not comparing it to somebody else. Like, that's big for me. But if we can get to 10k by the end of this year, on my birthday, like, because my, my birthday is December 31st, so if we can get it to it either before or on my birthday, that would be so dope. That would be the best birthday present ever. But now, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. You got the way.